Hey guys, today I want to report to you a very important and also very concerning message that I've gotten from one of my viewers. And he responded with this message to my last video, which was about the digital IDs. Okay, so now let's dive right into this message, which I find personally really concerning and even frightening. Okay, let's go. I work in the IT department of a very large, renowned insurance company headquartered in Germany. Unfortunately, what I tell my circle of friends and relatives about my projects, they dismiss as conspiracy theory. Many people don't see or understand what will happen to us with this great digitalization revolution, especially the possible dangers and misuse. Here's a small excerpt of the pilot project we are working on. Topic, Digitas car. Pilot projects are already underway. In the next 10 years, it will no longer be possible to insure old hams. So with old hams, he means an old car, uh, the same one that I drive, for example. Um, in one of my last videos, I mentioned my car, which is really old and I still love it. And he also drives an old car. So those old cars you will not be able to insure anymore in the next 10 years. So you will be forced to buy a digital car, otherwise you won't get insurance. These cars are online 24-7 and in real time uh, in touch with the insurance, traffic authorities, remote maintenance, surveillance and authorities. Depending on your style, time speed driver, your insurance premium will automatically adjust. For example, if you drive too fast and risky, uh, you will not only get to pay a fine to the magistrate, but also your insurance premium automatically increases. Uh, let's register you as a night driver. You will get a higher premium. If you have more passengers in the car, you will get a higher premium. If your premium is not paid, you will no longer be able to start your car. We are already in discussions with several major automotive brands to bring a Europe-wide standardized technical one-size-fits-all solution onto the market. Many people don't know that fully integrated breathalyzers, ElcoGuard, will be mandatory in the coming vehicle generations. This means that if you are drunk, you will no longer be able to start your car. Even if you are below the minimum alcohol limit, this data will be passed on to the insurance company and you will be penalized with a higher premium. If you are drunk beyond this limit, the relative authorities will automatically be informed and your insurance will be cancelled immediately. Transparent customer. We are also relying on the upcoming digital ID to access personal data such as health, traffic, home, etc. The background is that all the necessary customer data is already stored somewhere and as long as it does not leave the European Union, everything is fine for the insurance sector with the GDPR. Nowadays, customers also carelessly give their OK under the small print that we can collect their personal data. In real time, we collect medical records, living conditions, vehicle data, etc. in the event of damage. Upcoming pilot projects are planned with credit institutions, banks, to reward a healthy lifestyle and punish an unhealthy one in which we monitor shopping behavior, temporarily limited to districts, but only a matter of time until it is delivered to individual people. If you live in a district where a lot of unhealthy stuff is consumed, does it affect your life insurance, pension, death, etc.? We already checked the liquidity of all customers, but it's still quite old fashioned. With the coming technological advances, Digital ID, digital currency, we will be able to check the liquidity in a real time via interfaces with banks, credit institutions, etc. 
as well as the tax circumstances of each customer. I can't believe it. Also planned and already scheduled as a pilot project for 2025, a cooperation with the Federal Ministry of Defense, National Security. If a vehicle is registered to a politically exposed person and there's a suspected case, this person will no longer be able to start a vehicle. It will be deactivated via remote monitoring. And this applies to all private vehicles. A powerful RFID chip will be built into these digital ID cards. This enables a close coupling of 10 meters but monitoring and localizing with an accuracy of approximately 1,000 meters. This is of particular interest to the insurance company because in the event of damage, we can more easily locate the people, acts of damage, crimes, those involved. We are already in negotiations with the European Digitalization and Data Protection Managers to also be able to access this data in more detail justified under the name of security, customer friendliness and digitalization. The background is the boom in accident insurance, where we are of course interested in how often, when, how and above all, where each customer moves. Our pilot projects with the connection to AI are particularly interesting here in ongoing cooperations with Google and Microsoft in the next five to 10 years, if not much sooner, there will be a revolution, both in areas of digitalization and AI, that will make the invention of the internet look like the invention of the pencil. This is not a joke. These are projects that we are already piloting in the implementation testing phase in the insurance sector. In the coming years, owners of electric cars will be prepared to pay a battery tax instead of an engine tax. Reason, batteries pose an increased risk, fire, and are harmful to the environment, disposal. Payment is made on a sliding scale, watt hours per kilogram. Already in our insurances for autopilots. Here, the higher your insurance amount, the safer your autopilot will act. What? Don't be under any illusions that the autopilot will act the same in all vehicles in the event of an accident. At every point of time, we know who, when, how and why is in the car. <laughs> I'm baffled. I have to say I'm baffled. I don't know what to say. So I'm going to repeat that now. Don't be under any illusions that the autopilot will act the same in all vehicles in the event of an accident. At every point in time, we know who, when, how, why is in the car. And the sentence before that was, here, the higher your insurance amount, the safer your autopilot will act. So is he saying that the more you pay, for your insurance, the better your autopilot will be when it comes to accidents. I mean, this is wild. This is wild stuff. I'm going to post this message um, as a comment, as a pinned comment in this comment section. So I, I don't know what to say. It's really very dystopian, very much uh, like in the book 1984. And it's getting worse. It's getting worse. The more I dig, the worse it's getting. And I'm really questioning in what kind of world we are living. It's crazy, guys. Uh, this is something that we have to resist. We have to resist this. Otherwise, we will lose all of our freedoms. Crazy. <laughs>